All right, so this police chapter, I don't know what the hell this came out because I was just um, waiting for it in the morning, then I gave up. And I actually am editing a really long, not a long video, I don't know how long it is, but I was just putting up together a video for Friday, which I'm not going to tell you about in this review because that'd be a major spoiler. I'm just giving you a little, um, a little hint about what's coming. It's just a video. It's, a, it's taking me some time and it'll be okay, I guess. So, this is not the ending of Theater Suicide. We're getting a 6, possibly a 7, Theater Suicide 7. And the whole chapter was just Nanao. Um, and how she suspected of Tunzui um, be re um, having some connection to her mother. Saying, all those are the hairpins of my mother, her kimono, all this. When he took everything off and changed the kimono. She realized at that moment in the flashback that that was the person her mother gave something to. That was the person her mother gave an item for him to like she entrusted this item to be of later use. Um, she couldn't use another Sanpakuto because of the Issei family curse, I guess. Only one Sanpakuto. And I want to talk about this Sanpakuto and how it was analyzing the light for, uh, emanating from Stern Raider X eyes and how it was analyzing it and I guess changing to combat that though that power he has the, the god power and he was like oh you called me a god I like that compliment basically I was like wow and he she thought he she thought he she thought I can't even talk she thought he caught him off guard he's like I will never be off guard I'm a commissionary of God or something and I'm like Bro, I guess he's more serious because of Chun Sui, his doings and stuff, and slicing his his head off. And I just gotta say, this character design went from okay to crap over time. I even the angel thing with no no head. I I I, I like that. I, it was okay, but this chicken head with a different body. Now I looked at the body. It looks like what the hell is this? Kubo, what the hell is this? Um, my friend Super Saiyan Ichigo 720 probably did not review this because it came out super late. I don't know when this came out. I got home. I said, let me see if the Bleach chapter actually came out this week. And it did. Maybe it took longer to translate or whatever. Or maybe when Japan was like, F you, we're holding on to the mangas. We're, we're going to um, strike down everybody of the transporters or like more heavy security so they don't scan the pages or whatever maybe that's the reason because they're doing that now and the thing is if they will have if they will make a website they probably do have one but like where this is getting off the review who cares if they will just make a website where i i could read the mangas all mangas not just these mangas all the mangas that i read um, legally, in that website, like each chapter, instead of buying a whole book for maybe a monthly charge, that's not crazy. I'm not paying eight dollars a month for that crap. Um, then it'll be fine, maybe one dollar. I know a lot of people are like one dollar. That's too much, but I think it'll be all right. I'll, I'll subscribe to that. But until that happens, well, I'm reading them pages, you know. Okay, back to this review. So I like the Sampak Tos abilities and how it just it just changes due to who the opponent is facing. If it's a god. Somebody said in their review it could kill demons. I, I don't think they said that at all. So yeah, bro, whoever said that it it cannot kill it probably could kill demons, but it was not mentioned, I don't believe ever. It's just said it could slay a god. Okay. So that was really cool to see the Sampak Toe's power. And then towards the end, Chun Sui basically saying, I'm gonna protect you, Nana. And Chun Sui just walking, holding her and stuff, like he's about to help her with a sword and with no blade. And Serena X is laughing, like, that sword has, that Sampak Toe has no blade. That's, that's not gonna do shit to me. And before I end this review, I just wanna say, how the hell? Is Chun Sui standing up? Last time I saw on the chapter, he had a massive hole. In his, I think it was his lower tier chest or his stomach area. How 
So how are you standing up? Don't know. I do not know that. So overall, I like this chapter. It was a good chapter. Um, Kuba was just trolling the crap out of us with Sir Murder X. Please, if the other Quincy's have transformations, please, Kubo, do not troll us. Please. Overall, I give this chapter an 8.5 out of 10. Um, hopefully next week is the ending climax of this fight. And if it's not, I'll be really sad. Peace.